Good morning, everyone. Morning, Barbara, Sandy. Nice you could join us. Uh, morning, Pat, Margaret, Shirley, Sue, Di. Oh, lots of people. Jill, two Jills. Mary, hi, Mary. Hi, hi. So, what? Oh, on holiday and on holiday, but in wet Dumfries and Galloway. Oh, I hope it dries up a bit because I bet it's absolutely stunning up there somewhere I'd always like to go and maybe I can show you a little bit of what it might look like in the sunshine for you in a minute because I've got lots of um well restocks of things and all sorts to show you so what I thought I'd like to point out to you today is we have got our art board back in stock now the art board um is to as an accompaniment to our stamp press to impress stamping platform so it is for your stencils in particular and we've got those back in stock as well um, but I thought I'd just show you how to use it all you've got a funny combination here I'm not sure if you can see that so we've got the distress oh let's bring this out a bit so you can see it a bit we have got the distress oxides in what might be well, I don't know. It's not really an unusual combination. But um, if you have a look on Instagram, if you're on Instagram, and I'm sure it's on all sorts of other platforms as well. But there's a lady called Christ Christina from America and her blogs and bits and pieces are called Star of May. Um, not quite sure why, but that's what it's called. And she has wonderful combinations of the range of distress inks to try and use. So I thought I'd go with one that she suggested here. So it is Distress Oxide in Vanil Villainous Potion, Seedless Preserves and Picked Raspberry. I always call it, call it pickled, but it's picked. So I'm going with that combination. Now, tucked underneath here. We have a little um, from the Tree of Life. Now, the Tree of Life, oh my goodness, you all loved it yesterday. And so I'm afraid I have no more left. Whether I might be able to get a few more, I don't know. But at the moment, they are completely sold out. And I thought I would use the background or the, the foreground, I don't know what you call it, in order to supplement my design here today. And I've got a cheeky little um, Sentimentally Yours set. I have got exceptionally few left of these, but these are the stitched torn edges in the squares and there's some rectangles as well. So I'm going to use a bit of a combination of all sorts of things and just build up a little bit of a picture for you. So I'm going to pop that to one side at the moment and that and I'm going to bring in my stamping platform and bring in my colours let's do it that way round over there okay so show you what this is all about first and foremost so this is your um art board and as you can possibly hear it's metal so it's heavy metal it comes with a couple of um rulers which are magnetic as well so that holds everything in place too which is really handy and it is designed to go into your press to impress so I'm going to take out my rubber mat because I'm not doing any stamping just at the moment and I'm going to pop that down onto there and it is now absolutely solid in there okay oh light shining back on that sorry I'll hold that up so you don't see that bit so um, it's really solid and it's perfect for the stencils. And the stencils are a set of six stencils. Like shining on that one now. Oh, lots of rings of confidence. Sorry, you'll have to put up with that a little bit. Um, so there are six stencils. I've actually got all of them there but I'm only going to be using one but you have got all the different patterns the rectangles um whatever that is hexagon no hexagon hmm. I think it's called a hexagon isn't it oh god I'm hopeless um heart 
square oval and I'm going to use my circle there. So I'm going to get myself a piece of super smooth card and I'm going to pop that in so that we can see where I wanted it to be there. We can see if I'm not particularly getting it in the middle of anything today, but um, you can see through the stencil to see where you're getting it. That stencil sits in place. It gets locked in because it's made for this actual um, stamping platform. And I'm going to grab myself the, the um, magnetic things. And you can possibly hear that that really, really attaches itself. So I'm going to grab my inks here. Now, I want to pop a little bit of ink on there, okay? So I'm going to put that over there. Then that's not so bad, is it? Seems a very, okay, seems a bit of a funny colour to me today. I don't know why. Hold on a second. So, um, we've got our stencil through. Now, I'm going to take, because as I said, I'm experimenting with these colours. Oh, there is a new colour, you might have noticed. There's a new colour of these. They will be with me on Friday, I think. And that is something like salt water, no, salt water taffy or something. Yeah, not familiar with that, but I'm told it's a bit like a, like our stick of rock. It's something, a sweet or something that you get out there. Very pretty colour. However, this was one colour from last year called Villainous Potion. So it's a very deep purple. I'm going to pick up some of my brush and I'm going to come in from the bottom of my stencil and just go round in sweeping colours to just add that. OK, so you can add as much or as little as you want. And as it's a very dark colour, I'm not going to go too mad with this to start off with. I might go a bit madder later. But so I'm just going to come up a little bit, maybe a quarter of the way. Like so. So it glides over your stencil, which is a superb way of using it. So then I'm going to take my seedless preserves. And that's sort of like a more of a purpley colour. You can see that one. And then I'm going to come in from my side and I'm going to add it. So I didn't change the um, blending brush. I've just continued. Actually, that looks quite good, doesn't it? In terms of, it does blend quite well with the Villainous Potion. So then I'm going to come in with my picked raspberry, not pickled, and that is quite a much brighter pink. So I'm going to take some of that and I'm going to do the same thing. And bring that one in from the top as well. So the beauty of the stencils and the artboard are two things. One is that it all fits into your stamping platform. And I think most people do have this stamping platform. You could, of course, use it without the stamping platform. But the whole idea is that the platform actually holds it all in place as well. Um, the fact that it's metallic is brilliant to get everything to just stay where you want it to. Uh, you know, it, it really is not going to move. So it's ideal. So I'm just bringing in these colours. Now I'm going to go back in again with my pickled, picked, picked, picked raspberry. And I'm bringing that in from the top. And I'm using the oxides because I wanted them to blend. And I do prefer these for the real blendability bit. I'm going to come back in now with my seedless preserves and go more in that middle bit so that there's a darker colour there but I'm blending them with the top and the bottom as well so I'm just going over so hopefully the seedless should be seamless oh did you see that I'm going to come in with my villainous potion again so the very dark one I'm going to bring that in from the bottom again Oops. bring that in 
and blend that in with my seedless preserves. So that if we go over them, we've now got hopefully, as I said, that seamless line. Like so. Yeah. And let's just go in with my picked raspberry. I am just going to wipe off a little bit because that was quite a dark colour to a light colour. And I'm just going to bring this one back in. That's better. Liking that. Liking that. So let's put the lids back on there because I do tend to get about rather mucky with this. See? Look. Now. These colour combinations can be really, really quite different. And so, you know, do look out for them because although try some of the ones that you've never had before. I, I will show you one in a minute that I tried earlier, which I thought was an utter disaster when I first tried it. It was the Villainous Potion, that one started off with. It went into, um, can't remember now. I'll show you in a second. Oh, ripe persimmon and ended up with mustard seed. And I thought, oh my giddy aunt, but, but I'd never have thought it would work. And it did. It worked beautifully, but not how I thought it was going to. So I'll show you that in a while. Okay, so I've got my lovely thing here now. I've got a new stamp here from Nellie Snellen and I wanted to try to pop this into the center. I'm going to have to put my cover onto that as well because I want to put it in a certain spot. So with my clear template over the top, I can see where I want my tree to be. And because it's going in a circle, there are going to be um, this is more of a square stamp, so it's not going to bring in that bit down there, nor that bit, but that's okay. So I'm going to then pick that up. Like that. And I do want to just pop my mat underneath. I'm still just about do that. I can pop that all back into place. And then I'm going to use, well, I'm not quite sure which to use. Versafine is a brilliant one, but then I've got Versafine Claire as well. Um, I think I use Versafine. The reason why I think I use that is because, in all honesty, it's a newer ink pad and it's probably got more juicy juiciness on it. So I'm popping that all over my ink and I'm just going to make sure that I'm pressing down and bear in mind that you're, if you're using distress oxides they will kind of be wet so you really want them to dry out first but we want to show them to you. Now I need to just press more so, that's better on there so I'm liking that I'm liking that now I could go over it again and again but again I'm just trying to show you how you would do it I've got to pick these up you can see how strong that is wow right let's just pop that to one side a minute now I'm going to remove my mask and then you can see the beauty of how this all works and then with this let me just show you that. It also has the beauty that it's simply... Now, I use these cloths all the time. I shouldn't really be showing you how to clean something, I'm sure. But I use these cloths all the time and pop them in the dish in the washing machine. So I just wanted to show you. I'm just wash, going over with an ordinary... Actually, it's an antibacterial spray and just picking off, wiping off 
I've done it through there because some of it will seep through, but now you can see perfectly clean again and ready to be used. So ideal. Clean the bit off there as well. Okay, so that's our lovely templates. Oh, and here is my image. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but the image, the stamp on there is slightly wet still. And I don't want to risk getting into a pickle with that. So I'm just going to use my heat gun. So bear with me just to dry off the ink more than anything um, because I don't want to smudge it. Now, if you were at all tempted to um, use some clear embossing powder and to actually emboss your image so that it stays there and so that it shows up a bit more, bear in mind that you need to get your background completely dry before you did that because I'm using oxides and oxides are water-based and stay wet for some time sometime, hour or more, depending on where you are, of course. Um, and so subsequently, you really need it to just dry completely if you want to then put embossing powder over it, because otherwise embossing powder will cover a whole lot and it will look nice, but not quite the image that you were going for. So now let's do some cutting out over here. So I've cut out, as we saw, some already pieces of card. I've got magnolia pink and azalea pink because I thought that they went quite well with what I'm using here today. I've also, as I said, I've already cut them out. Now I'm going to use my frame from my Tree of Life, which is winging its way onto many of you as we speak. Um, maybe even arriving today because they were sent out yesterday. So I'm going to take that into place, first of all. And this one does not cut the outer bit, but it does cut the inner bit, which is why I have got one of the circle dies to give me just a little bit more of, um, of, of a something. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> so just run that one through. So this is from the stitched nested circle dies, plain circles. Just run that through. And you'll see that that cuts out beautifully, but it also cuts out the circle. So you can use that for a different um, different one. Now let's just take out the bits out here. And then I've got my circle die there that just wants to slot inside. Come out when you're told. Let's pop these bits out. The Tree of Life was such a lovely one. I know you're going to love that when you get it. So, got my inner piece there. Yeah. That piece, as you can see, is just going to give you a little border all the way around. So, if you can see that. Yeah, just a little border. So, what I've done for that is I've taken the azalea and I'm going to pop that on top. So, I've cut that out at a um, quarter of an inch or half a centimetre wider all the way around. Popping that into place so that it's going to look like that. And then I'm going to tape this one into place. So I'll try as best as I can to give myself an even border all the way around. Like so taking that one off, just pressing that down a little bit and then just run that one through as well. So that you'll be able to see the border around the outside through that lovely lace effect there. And then also very slightly in the centre. So you can see that it's 
got that lovely pattern to it. And if we bring this in again, you can see where I'm going with this. Yeah. So let's just stick this into here. So, sorry, I'm just. Uh, the clear, clear grids, the templates, they're all sold separately. So um, your platform comes with your platform, obviously, and your magnets that you can get with it. But you've got clear templates and there are a few left of the other paper templates that can all be sold separately as can the replacement rubber mats if you get, I was going to say get them in a pickle. I get mine in a pickle. I forget that I've got glue on it or something. Um, so you can get them separately. You can get the magnets separately, all as sort of the add-ons. And that's what the stencils were all made for really, is to all go together, which I think is what's one of the beauty of it really. So let's just pop that onto the center when you're cutting out something with a frame in the middle with this inner frame here i would very much recommend that you put your um patterned bit down first to know where you want your circle to be because guesswork is not necessary really because if you put it down like that you should have it fairly okay so i need to just trim this piece down So let's just see where we want to pop a pencil mark onto there, I think. Or a pen mark if one doesn't have a pencil. So we are going to go for about there. So I want it just inside there, inside there. Right, so I'm just, oh, be careful, still feels a bit wet. Hopefully, I haven't now ruined it, <laughs> and hopefully that will sit just need a little bit off of that side there, don't I? Okay. So that's just going to sit behind. We don't have that measurement there, just didn't cut it. That's it. No, it's no good. I want a bit more off. Just a bit more from that side. better. Right, then I'm going to take my um, square die and as I said this is from the Stitch Torn collection. So the idea is that you've got the stitches on the inside and then this sort of torn edge on the outside. Really quite pretty. So I'm going to cut one of those out with my other piece of azalea card. Azalea pink. Put that into position. Like that. Run that one through. And I have already cut out a white piece of card as an inner piece and already got ink all over it. What am I like? So you can see here, we've got that lovely stitched, can you see that? Stitched inner piece there. Um, but then like a torn edge, which is really pretty. 
And then I've already, as I said, cut out a white piece that's going to go in the centre there. Now, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I think that'll look quite nice like that. Yeah. So, pop this straight down. You can see I've got my mucky paw prints over that. So that's just going to go in the centre like that so that you can still see the stitched edge. Get my card, check where it's going to go. Pop a bit of foam on the back because I can. I have got some more foam coming in tomorrow. So uh, for those people that I've been promising it to, it's at last coming in. Just as well, because I haven't got much left myself, have I, from a great big roll? So let's just pop this. Hi, Heidi from Down Under. I assume Down Under is, well, underneath me. <laughs> or to one side or whatever. So... Just put a bit of glue on there. Then just pop that onto my front. So you can see when I pop it onto the front, you can see how this edge looks with the torn edge, which is rather nice. Now my white piece there, I could I could have cut out my white piece and then done my stamping onto it. But I prefer to not do it like that. I prefer to have more. I've got to keep thinking whether I've got it in the middle or things like that. And so I prefer not to do that. But that's just me. So going to just make sure that I have my little chap in there. I think what we do... I'm going to pop a bit of foam on here, just close to the corners to start off with. Because I want to make sure that I've got my picture literally in the frame. So let's just take these bits off and then I can kind of hover it. A bit of glue on there. Hover it over the top so that I know I've got it in the right place. Like that. And then I can put some more tape onto the back of here to build that up a bit more. So lots of layers. Lots of layers for this one, but just showing you that the aperture stencils are just fun to work with. You can do all sorts with them. And I know that people bought them hmm, a year ago, was it? Maybe when they first came out. And maybe they've been tucked in your drawer that you're not going to use them. And so usually our Wednesday um, workshops, workshops, our, our Wednesday YouTubes are about using older products and get them out and have a go mix them with some new maybe like we have done today have a go at the different color combinations um let me find the one in a second that i did that i thought was going to be an utter disaster and show you how nice it turned out so let's pop a bit of glue on here as well extra chance for sticky bit of wiggle room as well Bring my card over, make sure I've got it around the right way. I think I have, because I'm going for top folding. And I think I can just about touch that now because it is dry. But yeah. How do you like that? I think that's really lovely. 
um okay yeah you probably wouldn't ever see the sky looking quite like that color but you never know do you and anyway i love the combination of the pinks and the mauve so we had as i said the azalea pink and then this one here is the magnolia pink which is more of a, a very very pale mauve i think actually um, but possibly like a magnolia so combinations of what we chose let me bring them back again. We had our press to impress um, art board, it's called. Oh, now I've got that on there as well. I told you I was a mucky pot, didn't I? Let's wipe that off there because we don't want that on there really, do we? So our art board, which, as I said, comes with your magnetic boards like that and then we had our stencils a pack of six stencils with all the different things comes um that goes with our art board like that we had our stamp set which is the tree tree by the shore i think you'll find that one's called and here is the other combination that I tried. So this one is with Villainous Potion down the bottom. Well, it don't look like that now, does it? Villainous Potion. Then I had Ripe Persimmon. And then I had Mustard Seed. I had far too much mustard. I don't know if you'll like that as well. I'm not so keen on mustard on sandwiches either. And here we go. Far too much mustard. Um, but... What a combination really makes it look like that sort of um, African savannah, savannah um, sunset, doesn't it? So just goes to show, as I said, go and pop over to Star of May. Put that into your search box and have a look. This one was um, used with the oval. So again, a bit different, but I smudged it at the last minute, which is why I went off the idea. But that one is with... Um, Fill in this potion, seedless preserves, and um, kitsch flamingo. So that's again another different combination, much lighter than the one that we've gone for here. You can see, yeah. So it, yes, that one is covered with the Sahara dust, isn't it? Yeah, which seems to have been, it seems to have cleared a bit here today, but it was a very, very funny. Funny colour there. Um, and we have, as I said, mixed that with our lovely stitched torn edge die sets here as well from um, Sentimentally Yours. That one goes into the centre there and it comes with a magnetic sheet as well. But there you go. So lots, lots of things. Let me take that off before I pickle it up again. Bring in the one that we did do, which I'm very much liking. I hope you do as well. I like, love this border. And when you get your tree of life in your little grubby hands, um, well, make sure they're clean for a start. But yeah, just use it just as that type of a border. And then as well, you've got your lovely tree, which obviously, this is your tree. So your tree goes in there, but without your tree, you've got such versatility because you've got that lovely outside edge as well. I kind of, almost, I'm going a bit mad here now, but I can see pearls going on on these corners as well now. But no, leave it for the moment, Maxine. So I will be doing an online workshop with my group of uh, friends on Saturday. So I'm really looking forward to that. We've got a couple of new faces as well joining us. So I'm really looking forward to that where we're going to be using the Nelly Snellen stamps and die sets which are sitting on those people's desks waiting to be used which is great um i will be back on sunday live properly this weekend um at 11 o'clock with our next youtube special and i'm sort of thinking along mother's day stroke ladies cards this time so that's what we're going for then um and there's new releases coming out. So watch all, watch this space for such loveliness. So 
Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope you have a really good day. Sahara sand or not Sahara sand. Let's hope that most of it is in my house here on that card as opposed to anywhere else. Take care, keep safe, look after one another and I will see you as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, take care everyone. Bye.